Uh, like by Chinese the tourists or like uh, uh, many obligation or Chinese brand, Chinese people. Okay, so let's talk about back again for the Dubai thing. Yes. Uh, what do you think? What's going on? I think it is a pretty exciting month and we have it, the rugby and cricket episodes did so well, inspired a lot of people, but I think it's back to go, to, uh, it's back, it's time to go back to the basics and the last time we celebrated a culture per se was the Philippine um, Independence Day and you remember that, did, that so did so well. well. And that's what it's Dubai thing is all about, celebrating exactly. communities. cultures and communities and now October 1st is actually going to be the Chinese national day okay. so that should be interesting since you know there's a whole lot of chinese people here there's a whole community so do you think about thousands that? and yeah obviously there's chinese film week happening this week as well so that kind of that i didn't well. know see that's cool really glam red carpet happening tonight so i maybe go check that out and then let's go from there and see if there's more events happening or more people that we can let's meet. do it let's do it glam it up for that red carpet too <laughs> Tell us, what brings you here tonight? Well, today we are covering this amazing Chinese event that they got going on behind us. So it's the red carpet and we're in production. So this is a Chinese event and where are you from? I am from the US and I have friends that are from China and there is a, a beautiful relationship that's between Dubai and China. And of course, being content creators and being part of the media, we want to make sure that we cover all aspects of everything that's going on around us. So. This event is very important to us because it's important to Dubai, and we live in Dubai. Where, what's your name and where are you from? Uh, Xiao Li from China. And why are you here tonight? For the China movie film. And how did you hear about the event? Uh, from my friend, she's working in the Miras. And have you lived in Dubai for a long time? Yeah, about like four years. And was it easy when you moved here to meet uh, new cultures or is there a big Chinese community that you met when you moved here? Uh, we do, we do, yeah. In international city, there is a lot of Chinese and uh, very local Chinese food, yeah. And did you find that you met new types of people when you came here? Yeah, of course, there's so many different, uh, they come from different culture and uh, from different nationalities. Yeah, we've learned a lot from the different People, yes. How will your celebrations compare to celebrations at home in China? Will they be the same in Dubai or will they be bigger in Dubai? I think it will be more like a formal <laughs> celebration in Dubai. Because, yeah, more bigger. Because maybe at home, you know, the atmosphere, like everywhere there's Chinese flag and, you know, the government will have so many events. But here, like, we only have ourselves. So we'll be holding more events here, so it will be like more, I think. There are so many communities and uh, like some riding club, horse riding club. Oh, right. riding club. Okay. Yeah, we have like our own Chinese horse riding club here. So Amazing. yeah, so everyone is uh, riding and uh, to hold the Chinese flag. Yeah. yeah, so it will be so amazing. Like this is the way we celebrate. And will they hold a UAE flag as well or just China? <laughs> Well, yeah, you wear your flag as well, yeah, because we also like uh, appreciate like Dubai also accept us like here, and we are mixing cultural here, so yeah, both, yeah, celebrating both, yeah. Amazing. And you said you don't live here? We do live here, but this is the first time we come here, so. Ah. So you all live in Dubai? Yeah, we all live together. Actually, we're roommates. She brought us here to see the stars, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And how long have you lived in Dubai for? Uh, I've been here for seven years already, so the each is. <laughs> and tell us a little bit about the Chinese community here. Is it a, do you find it's a mix of Chinese and other nationalities or how is it kind of meeting new nationalities here in Dubai? I think we're kind of, you know, we Chinese like to stay together. We have very strong community uh, scattered in uh, all over Dubai. And would you think um, there's a good representation of Chinese culture in Dubai? I think we have something similar to the Emirati culture, which is we're very family oriented. And that's why whenever there's a big event or it's a, a you know, culture event festival, we always stay together like what happened today. The facilitation here in Dubai over the years has been improved dramatically. So I think more and more investors and Chinese would love to come here to explore more business opportunity or education opportunity here in Dubai. Suki, thank you so much for your time. Um, tell us a bit, what brings you here tonight? 
Uh, we're here for the Chinese Film Week for Edna Dubai. It's not the first year, but definitely it's going to be uh, every year. It's going to be much, much better. Yeah, I am from China. I've been here for the past six years. Yes, and I work in media. So this is not the first year for the red carpet. I actually just went back from the Venice Film Festival. And I hear you have a certain skill that people will be very impressed by. Well, I speak Arabic because I went to school here um, for proper, like all of these exams and everything because I really like the Emirati uh, culture. And uh, for me, I found like this Muslim, um, Arabic, Emirati, everything here. I mean, I live here. I feel like I'm, I'm feeling home here in Dubai. Yeah. And do you think that's a sense that other Chinese people have here in Dubai, a feeling of home in, the, in this country? Yeah, well, actually, you know what? There are actually 300,000 Chinese people living here in Dubai, and uh, there come like more and more Chinese people residency moving here. And uh, for all of these years, um, between the UAE and Chinese relationship, is getting met much better and better. Last year, actually, uh, Mohammed bin Zayed, uh, actually this year, Mohammed bin Zayed, last month he just visited China. And uh, also last year, it was our president, Chinese uh, President Xi, he just visited UAE. So for all of this friendship between UAE and China, I think it's, it's a big movement. And uh, every year it's become better and better for us as an expat, like living here in Dubai. Ana ana Ilion, Saida Jeddan, Aish fi Dubai. I love Dubai, wide, wide. Can you please translate that for me? I said for all of this year I've been living here in Dubai, I feel like I'm so blessed and I'm so happy that I've been living here in such an amazing country. And um, yeah, I love Dubai so much. Amazing, thank you so much. I feel the same. <laughs> um, what's happening here tonight? Uh, actually, this is the Chinese Film Week uh, in Dubai. Actually, this is the second year, which attracts a lot of attention. So you will see this time lots of directors. Uh, uh, for example, the Tang Ji Li, which is uh, uh, he shot the Jackie Chan's movie this year. So he said he uh, he loved Dubai. Actually, they spoke highly of Dubai and the support from uh, uh, Dubai TV uh, Film and TV Commission. So uh, this is very good opportunity to, for us to show everybody our culture and our movie. Actually, this is a really good time. Yeah. And why do you think it's bigger this year? Uh, well, actually, last year we just like uh, to see okay how uh, people will interested, but this time you see so many uh, Emiratis and they come to join this event. I thought okay, this is just a Chinese thing. No, we welcome everyone from everywhere. It's amazing to hear how the two nationalities will blend together over the course of the week. And tell us a little bit about you, about yourself here in Dubai. Um, how long have you lived here? What do you do? Okay, so I this is my uh, third year. Actually, I work for uh, a Dubai Dragon radio station so this is the only one Chinese radio station in the UAE so we are we have 24 hours broadcasting so this is also for us like we have some Chinese voice doing the UAE amazing yeah. to hear so you're broadcasting um, live 24 hours in English no a Chinese of course <laughs> Yeah, and um, you must have a lot of listeners from all over the world listening to you. Uh, yes, yeah, so they give us the support. So the uh, first one is from the UAE, the second from China, and the third one, guess where? Australia. Really? Yes. So I don't know how those people heard of us, but we are happy. Yeah. It's amazing that the UAE has a Chinese radio station, isn't it? How did that come about? Uh, I think this is because the last year our president Xi visits UAE, so the government said, okay, we should have some radio station to give the Chinese people the chance to talk about things and we also want to listen to them. Yeah. Amazing. Well, it would be really interesting to come and check out the station if you have the time to show us around. Of course, we welcome you anytime. Just let us know. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you for your time. Hi guys, so Casey bumped into Joanna at the Film Week, so she's invited us here at the ARN Radio Network to talk to her. She's the host of Dubai Dragon, and let's go see what she has to say about the Chinese community here in Dubai. How did Dubai Dragon come about? Well, Dubai Dragon is uh, for uh, Chinese uh, listeners. So actually, Dubai Dragon want to help the Chinese residents feel at home in the nice. UAE. So actually, you know, there's uh, uh, 200,000 Chinese living here. So sometimes we want our voice to, to listen to each other. So 
Dubai Dragon is the platform、uh, for everyone, for Chinese. For example, like、uh, in our radio station, we always inform our listeners what's on around the country they can explore. And also for Emirati, there's a high demand of learning Mandarin. I always got the message from the Emirati and other nationality to say like,、uh, do you have any events coming on? Like, okay, we'll inform you. So this is the、uh, not only for Chinese people, but also for other nationalities. See, I love going. To Dragon yeah, to get yeah, my yes, yeah, correct. And of course, Chinese restaurants, global village, say, right? Global <laughs> village. We're always trying to go to the China court because、yeah. you know that's where all the good clothing are and yeah, stuff. But to make sure that if you buy something, like say maybe one Chinese word, they will give you discount. Oh, you know, is that the, the trick?、Code. Yeah, because I have tried many times at、um, at Dragon、work? City. It doesn't work. They're like no, and I'm like.、Oh, So that's good. I、okay, maybe you, you should start to like、uh, one sentence to let them feel like you really made the effort. What, what is this one <laughs> sentence? What's a good one? You just say "da chu," "da chu," "da chu," "da chu," "da chu," which、Very、means、good. please give me this card. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm gonna replay this over and over <laughs> and use that. But、um, thank you again so much for you know taking the time to talk to us.、Mm-hmm. It's been really nice learning about the culture. And knowing that there is a Mandarin radio station,、mm. and we hope for the best for Dubai Dragon. Thank you so much、we'll、for checking、in. our work. Thank <laughs> you. Thank so, how did it go, by the way? Yeah. The, the red carpet and everything. What did you discover about the Chinese community here in Dubai? It was amazing. First of all, the people were incredibly drunk. Loads of people came out to watch Chinese film stars from Star Chinese、uh, Film Week. There's people traveling from Ajman to see like the stars on the red carpet, so got loads of interviews on and off the red carpet, which was really cool.、Um, met kind of the editor of a Chinese magazine here in Dubai. Nice, wow, really interesting.、Um, met a girl who can speak Arabic.、Uh, she was originally from China, but she grew up here. Suki, she was interesting. And then obviously met the lady from Dubai Dragon. Just、Chinese radio station here, so yeah, it was an amazing event. I actually got to see the radio station as well. It's just so incredible that there's actually I didn't know there was a Chinese radio station based here. So it's, it was incredible to have to see that. Like it was just amazing. Yeah, I mean, like there's hundreds of thousands of Chinese people actually living in Dubai, and I think we only kind of figured that out through the last few weeks. So really, really cool. Yeah, but excited for the next one already. Me too. <laughs> me too. So excited. Okay, so we can think of for that. I mean, we just had a successful month, so let's like touch base in the yeah, weeks. Yeah, let's do that.、Okay.